Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Splat. Today is video number 15 in our series of 20 reviewing the English Premier League season. Today we are talking about Sunderland, the Black Cats, etc. So uh, Sunderland, who uh, have been in the Premier League for hmm, how long now? Four or five seasons? They've been on for you know a few years. Uh, they finished in 13th. Unlucky for some, much like the Black Cat. Uh, well, they finished with 45 points. This was two points less and three places lower <clears throat> than the previous season, uh, where they finished 10th on 47 points. However, had they managed to get those extra two points, turning one of those draws into a win, they would have finished in 10th again on goal difference ahead of West Brom, Swansea and Norwich, who all finished on 47 points. So, uh, you would say that Sunderland have looked about the same and that uh, everything sort of continued uh, uh, as it was. Well... That's only if you're looking at the numbers. What actually happened was Sunderland had a bit of a tumultuous season that ultimately came good. It basically came about because uh, Steve Bruce just couldn't get the results. Um, you know, Steve Bruce, who's one of the most experienced managers in the Premier League and has had success at several other clubs like Birmingham City and uh, Wigan Athletic and teams like that, he came to Sunderland. He was doing all right. But heading into the uh, winter period, around about October, November, things started to go badly wrong. And then eventually, early December, he was sacked after a disappointing loss to Wigan and some true, truly woeful uh, performances. Uh, he was replaced by Martin O'Neill, who had been uh, out of work for a little while, for about a season or two, after he left Aston Villa because they weren't going to give him... Uh, money or you know things of that nature he's come into Sunderland and he turned everything round indeed in the second half of the season if there was a table done for the last 19 games Sunderland would be well in the top half they had a fantastic run of form and also a couple of uh, young players were brought in and started to play well in particular Jack Colback who uh, proved to be quite good uh, highlights of the season for Sunderland well Games with Newcastle that probably ignore, but you probably say the 3-3 three, three, uh, draw with Manchester City where at one point they were 3-1 up. That performance they put in that day was pretty outstanding. Um, it's Yeah, they, they, they were very, very good. And one player in particular who was quite good for them was Nicholas Bentner. Um, he scored a total of eight goals for them on his loan from Arsenal. Uh, whether he'll return there next season or whether he'll go and swan off somewhere else, Arsenal are keen to get rid of him permanently now, as they seem to be with all their strikers at the moment, Robin Van Persie included. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he ends up, but certainly he had a good season. But also, Seb Larsson and Stefan Sessegnon, both of whom look to be staying, both also had fantastic seasons, and both also scored eight goals in the league, so, you know, they did pretty well. Uh, yeah, so, obviously, that 1-0 loss to Newcastle wasn't great. Sorry, I'm just double-checking that they did uh, have bad performance against Newcastle. Oh, they drew uh, one all away with them, so actually, you know, not too bad, but no win against them, which would be very disappointing. Um, yeah, so... They didn't do that well, however, they had a good cup run. They got to the sixth round of the FA Cup, beating Arsenal along the way and losing to Everton on a replay, only just missing out on going to the uh, semi-finals where they would have played Liverpool. So, you know, anything could have happened there. Uh, so, And also they did beat fellow North East rivals Middlesbrough after a replay on, the, on that run in the competition as well. Uh, didn't do anything in the League Cup, lost to Brighton Hove Albion 1-0. Uh, so, but there you go. So, Sunderland, uh, pretty much the average season. The thing was, you know, they they were proactive. And, you know, they could have quite easily been dragged into the relegation trouble, uh, like we saw with Aston Villa. In fact, in a way, we kind of saw Aston Villa and Sunderland almost be the same club that took different decisions. Both clubs had a manager who just wasn't really getting the best out of them and teams that you know had been okay sort of middle to top half of the Premier League was starting to fall away a bit Aston Villa chose to stick with their manager Alex McLeish and almost got relegated and now he's been sacked whereas Sunderland decided nope we're going to make a change they brought in Martin O'Neill admittedly Aston Villa probably didn't have that option after uh, the falling out with Randy Lerner between uh, you know Lerner and O'Neill they brought in a manager they were proactive and it worked so uh, yes Sunderland managing to Stave off any relegation trouble, and you know, all in all, um, you know, they had a an upset win in the cup. They performed relatively well in the league. Never really were in too much relegation trouble, and of course, now they've got Martin O'Neill at the helm for his first full season coming up. So that will be very exciting. All in all, for Sunderland, I'm going to give them a C, a pretty good standard season for this club, who've now 
sort of established themselves as a pretty much, uh, you know, one of those clubs that's not quite a permanent fixture in the Premier League, but, you know, a bit like Stoke or, um, well, them and Stoke, <laughs> I can't really think of anyone else. You know, I suppose maybe Fulham, you know, that sort of club that it feels like they do belong in the Premier League, even though, you know, it's uh, traditionally they haven't been up there all that time. Right, so that's it. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking Swansea City. Ooh, very, very interesting indeed, uh, getting onto that. Okay, and I'll talk to you all then. Bye!